Okay guys, we are going to a review for HyperX RAM. Uh, it's made by Kingston and uh, it's a gaming PC RAM. Uh, the clock speed on this RAM is 2133 MHz. And today we are going to uh, do a quick unboxing followed by a brief review for this RAM. And then we will also talk about well, how much VRAM, do you, how much uh, DDR3 RAM do you require uh, for your gaming PC, whether you need a 4GB RAM, you need 8GB or 16GB of RAM to run your latest games on your gaming PC. And uh, we will also talk about how whether you should buy a DDR3 or DDR4 at the end of this review. And we will also share in the end some of the benchmarks which we have done uh, with this uh, HyperX 2133 MHz RAM versus a Corsair Vengeance 1600 MHz RAM. So we'll find out uh, which is an ideal RAM for you. Okay, let's uh, quickly uh, do the unboxing okay the ram is sealed and we can see the quality seal is there and i'm just going to cut it off okay so here we have uh, a kingston hyperx uh, savage ram uh, pretty neatly built and that's again packed in a plastic uh, casing so we'll remove this casing and uh, and show you how it looks okay so here we have the ram and we'll just uh, open it up and see okay. so we have got a small warranty card and a booklet here uh, there's an installation guide also so uh, you can actually uh, install the ram without you know doing anything else you have to just put it uh, in the motherboard and uh, the motherboard itself detects the ram and uh, it does come with the lifetime warranty so let's uh, check out the ram itself oh it's a really good solid build you got fins here so for heat dissipation uh, really really nice build quality it looks really beautiful gorgeous color red scarlet color and what we have got at the back let's check out i hope you're able to read it or i'll just inform you what it is Okay, it says that it's manufactured in Taiwan and uh, if you will remove the sticker then the warranty is wide. So it's a 240 pin RAM which you can use with uh, most of the motherboards um, which have compatibility for DDR3. So uh, if you have a latest motherboard from uh, say Z170 or uh, of a similar standard which, which you are using with the Skylake processor then definitely you will like to go with a DDR4 RAM. So we'll talk about uh, DDR3 versus DDR4 also in a bit. Okay, now let's talk about how much uh, DDR3 RAM do you need for your gaming PC. Um, I have been using 8 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM, which is a Corsair Vengeance, uh, clocked at 1600 megahertz. So I've not found any issues uh, in terms of playing any games. Uh, we played GTA 5, we played even Assassin's Creed Unity and uh, uh, we are playing at a full hd resolution and uh, playing with the uh, r9 280 graphics card so still uh, i've never felt that uh, we require even more ram uh, 8 gb has been more than enough for us uh, you can uh, definitely go for uh, 8 to 16 gb if you're building a gaming pc so now uh, ram has also become cheaper so earlier when we bought uh, that ram it was around six thousand bucks uh, and uh, now it has become cheaper around 3000 to 4000 bucks for 8 gb of ram so you can definitely go for 16 also if you need to but definitely i i, well, I would recommend that 8 gb is more than enough uh, now coming to the point whether you should buy a 1600 megahertz or you should go for 2133 megahertz or 2400 megahertz or maybe a 3000 megahertz ram so ddr3 i think does come up to 3000 or even more with some of the manufacturers but the point is, uh, I have not observed much difference in terms of performance with a 1600 or a 2133. We have uh, used a 2133 MHz similar RAM on our PC and uh, we have bench done some benchmarkings with this. And uh, we didn't found any difference as far as uh, frames per second are concerned in games. So 
uh, if you're getting a 1600 megahertz or a 2133 or 2400 megahertz you are good to go there is i think there's not too much of a price difference also so you can buy either 2133 or 1600 megahertz um, it's not going to really matter uh, until unless you're doing some uh, work on compression or you're doing some video compression work there it may be a couple of seconds here and there with a faster ram uh, then you should you can probably if you're building a new pc you can uh, you know go with 2400 megahertz or a 2133 megahertz rather than going with a older 1600 megahertz ram Okay, as we have seen in the benchmarks, uh, there is not too much of a difference in terms of uh, gaming performance for a, a, a high-speed RAM versus a slightly slower clogged RAM. So you can make up, make up your mind deciding on, on your budget and whichever is your brand preference. This HyperX uh, Kingston RAM is really solid build and really decent quality, comes with a lifetime warranty. And you can definitely go with the 2133 megahertz uh, HyperX Savage gaming PC RAM if you are building a new PC and you can also you know buy a 8 GB stick and then later on add up another 8 GB stick like if you require it really okay thanks that is all from my side and if you have any questions uh, do ask your questions in the comments below and uh, if you have any other uh, points to mention to me you can always reach out to me on candytech.in or you can comment on the youtube video itself thanks for watching guys